try to convince somebody of this set theoretic claim. Okay, in our discussion, I'm going to use Venn diagrams. So this one has an A and a B and a C, and it's talking about A intersected with B union C. So A is this region, if I call this A and B and C, and B union C would be this region. So if I'm talking about all the things that are both in A and in the B union C, I'd be talking about that dude, that dude, and that dude. Okay, so I kind of see where it's showing up. It's showing up in A, and it's showing in B or C, but not necessarily both, but okay, I got the picture. Over here, A, B, C, the reasoning over here is going should come out to be the same, hopefully. Let's see. A intersect B would be the things that are in A and B together. So that would be this region. And A intersect C would be the stuff in this region only. Oh yeah, and then union means one or the other. So I would just be getting that guy, that guy, and that guy. Yeah, so these look like the same region to me. Okay, I think I can be able to prove this, and I'm expecting it to sort of go down a certain path that's going to be if and only if all the way, so I'm not too worried. Let's see if it works out. So, pause the video, see if you can go down the double containment approach, or maybe an if and only if approach, and see if you can prove this claim. Assuming you gave it a shot here, let's try it together. Proof. I am going to use biconditionals, if and only ifs, to go all the way through and only have to do it once instead of having to double up my argument going backwards. So to that end, I'll say let's let x be in a intersect b union c. This happens if and only if let's see x would have to be in a and x would have to be in b union c. But this would happen if and only if x was in a and either x is in b or x is in c. Right? You'd have to have x being in a and you'd have to have either x is in b or x is in c. So when would that happen? Well that would only happen if x was in a and at the same time x was in b or on the other hand we knew x was in a no matter what so we'd have x being in a and x being in c because you knew that x is either in b or in c we're just using the fact that a is true no matter what and putting that either it's in b or it's in c so one of these two things has to happen but that would only happen if x was in a intersect b or if x was in a intersect c. But notice that happens if and only if x is in a intersect b or so union a intersect c. And since we had if and only ifs throughout the entire argument that means the steps are reversible and so we've effectively done a double containment. We've gone forwards and backwards. This completes this set theoretic proof.